It's, it's deranged, deranged royal fame. They'll act crazy all day. They'll apologize for the fail, but still scream and wail. It's deranged royal fame. Yeah. It is rhyming Thursday. Be prepared to hear what I have to say. So let's grab a cup of tea and enjoy some poetry. On today's itinerary is Hopeless Little Girl. I hope you enjoy. Hopeless Little Girl. So that's it. You're packing away and leaving. No time to stop. Stop and think about the truth under our noses. How many years will you be gone? Hundreds? A millennia? Ah, we all know very well you'll come back tomorrow. Full of sweets and lost the sour. But that flavor will come back again at a later hour. Hopeless little girl, I've too much to say, but I know I will not speak these words any other day. But how many times I've cried at the thought of losing you. About how many times you left me thinking there wasn't a thing I could do. Hopeless little girl, maybe you were right. I am a cruel coward and so very often I would bite my tongue. But I'd finally saved myself the blood loss and started to blurt all these words that hurt. I should have said in my teeth so I wouldn't have said the wrong things. But I was also hurt as hell and couldn't think to defend myself because I'd only prove you right that I was your victim. Hopeless little girl. I never wanted you to be right, nor did I want you to feel wrong. I wanted to love you with all my heart, but never knew where to start, because my avoidance could never end when you were by my side. And how wrong I felt when I wanted you to leave, and even now as I breathe, I just want you gone, but somewhere safe, where we can still be friends. Hopeless little girl, I know that you are miserable, and there's only one way that we are able, to rid of these fights and ever so harsh nights. And that's to part our ways until some future days. Because all I wanted was for you to be happy and to see you smile. So we can forget these past deeds and finally talk for a while. Oh boy. Uh, not gonna lie. Hopeless Little Girl is probably one of my favorite poems I've ever written. I know it's probably not all that impressive or whatever, but just... It holds such a special place in my heart, and I don't know, I was just really happy of how it all flowed and went, and the strength, um, a strength, but at the same time, this very innocent naiveness, this naivety, and that's why Hopeless Little Girl is going to be a double feature, and that's why, um, you'll have to see next week for the double feature part about, uh, it's not a double feature in sense that they're both for me at the same time, but it's going to be interlinked with each other. So keep an eye out for guilt next week. But the alpha for guilt will contrast with this one. And you'll have to see what that's going to look like when it comes out. Basically, um, if you need any backstory about the poem, uh, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part about what it's about. But the backstory behind it, I genuinely came up with it right after coming down from an anxiety attack and it came into my head while I was sitting in an empty bathtub there's no water but an empty bathtub in my parents room hiding from my sister who this is about uh, and just listening to it all rage on in the other room you know after everything that happened and it was in response to the first time I ever stood up to her and so having that anxiety and having anxiety of not knowing where the other sister was and all this jazz i i had i had a meltdown and my first recorded anxiety i realize now in the future now of hindsight that some of the other episodes i've had in the past were technically anxiety or panic attacks but never wrote it down as such because i didn't didn't know any better but this was the first time someone ever said i had an anxiety attack or a panic attack kind of thing and so it was very you know that's what i record as my first panic attack or anxiety attack but uh i this poem was such a big staple for me like i feel like it was one of the first times i wrote like as a as a nearly young adult i was 17 when i wrote it so goddamn it's almost been a decade since i wrote this poem um but it was one of the first times I wrote it and I probably and it's just like, I really am happy with this. I'm like really liking this, you know? Um, and it was so important to me. 
and I, I came up in my head, and then the next morning I had written all down. Um, and this is going to sound weird. I, I associate a lot with looking at the face of a pug purse or a pug bag. Um, because I remember when this first altercation was happening, I just kept my eyes down staring at my sister's bag that was a pug face on it. Very stretched out, pixely pug face. Um, but the poem to me also represents like this white dress, um, very much kind of resembles like a naivety young girl. But I also, for some reason, have a lot of high associations with white dresses, uh, especially like summery short ones, etc. I have this very love love relationship to towards white dresses and there's so many different things I can tie white dresses into probably a positive and negative um and so to me it was important to wear this dress and I also pretty sure this dress won't belong to one or both of the sisters involved in this poem um and so it was, it was important for me to wear it for a number of reasons now, choosing the head crown and whatnot, that was a harder one uh, to decide upon. Uh, but I, I, you'll see why I chose this one next week, uh, when you see next week's outfit and look. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed almost as much as I did. Um, it, it really is an important one for me. And it meant a lot to write. Now the one for next week, now that one is a huge, bigger staple for me. Um, next week's guilt is, it makes a lot of reference to this one. I wouldn't necessarily, you could almost call it a sequel uh, to this one where I'm now older and now firmer. Cause this one I'm very, I'm almost passive where I'm like, oh, I want to believe in you. And maybe you were right. Maybe I, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm playing victim when I'm not actually, but guilt, doesn't take that stance anymore. Guilt's stronger than that. And it's like the big sibling version, or not big sibling, but it's it's the evolution, it's the development and character growth. Um, and I wrote that one very recently. I'll get into more details about guilt next week, but just kind of showing the contrast of the sequel and the progression. Um, and you'll get to see that next week if you want to check that one out. That one I'm also very proud of, so. As much as my sister's left a lot of emotional damage and trauma for me, she's also given me a lot of art. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a gay day. That's still very hot. Well, the quad, that just stayed. Yet, yet you wasted yet another, another day. day. Their videos are a bore, but they've got lots more in store. It's deranged, royal fate.